Hey guys, in this example, we're going to be talking about how to find the first four terms of the recursive sequence. And in the previous video, we talked about how to find the first four terms of a sequence. Now we're talking about a recursive sequence, and this isn't too bad. Okay, so notice what we're given here. We're given our rule, and we're given, okay, the first term here, a of 1, and it's going to be 3. So in order to do this, we're going to do this the same way we did the previous problem, okay? So here's my variable n, okay? I'm just going to go ahead and plug in a 2 because I'm trying to find that second term. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So we'll have the following. We'll have here a of 2 equal to, and we have a of 2 minus 1 times negative 4. Now look what happens here. We have 2 minus 1. That's going to give me a of 1. So rewriting this, we have a of 2 equal to a of 1 okay, times negative 4. And we know what a of 1 is. It's provided, right? So we're going to go ahead and plug in a 3 here. So a of 2 is equal to 3 times negative 4, which we know is going to be negative 12. So we can go ahead and record this. a of 2 is going to be negative 12. Okay, so there's our second term. All right, let's find our third term. So let's erase this. We're going to do the same steps. Okay, so plugging in a 3 for my variable here, I'm going to get a of 3. So a of 3, and then we'll have a of 3 minus 1 times negative 4, and we get a of 3 equal to, so look what happens here, 3 minus 1 is 2, so we get a of 2 times a negative 4, and we know what a of 2 is, we just found it, it's negative 12. So a of 3, we're going to get here negative 12 times a negative 4, okay? And when we do this, we know that we're going to get positive 48. Okay, so a of 3, our third term, is going to be positive 48. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and find that last term. Let's go ahead and erase this. So, again, plugging a 4 in now for our variables, we're going to have a of 4 equal to, we get a of 4 minus 1 times negative 4. And we're going to get a of 4 equal to... We know that this is going to be 3 now, so a of 3 times negative 4, and we know what a of 3 is, it's going to be 48. So a of 4 equals, you get 48 times a negative 4, and we know that 48 times a negative 4 is going to be negative 192. So a of 4 here, a of 4 is going to be negative 192. Okay, so here are our first four terms of the recursive sequence. All right, and that is it.